Good morning, guys. Welcome to another vlog. As you just could see in the time lapse, I'm at the train station. I'm soon on my way to the airport because today is the day I'm flying out to Portugal to drive the all new 27 Mercedes Benz E Class. Mercedes-Benz E-Class. Just to show you the location real quick where I am at the moment. See the ocean in the background. All right. It's a little bit windy out here but I'm gonna try my best and cancel out the wind noise of the video. So right here is one variant of the Mercedes-Benz E-Class. This is the E350e, the plug-in hybrid version. Of course I wanted the more potent E400 but uh, yeah, they were all taken, go figure. It's the most powerful engine they currently have. Um, but I don't mind driving this. Uh, it has all the options on the inside anyway, and uh, it still looks pretty cool. The two big pipes at the rear. It has blue calipers. That's interesting. What I really love is that they maintained the uh, double eyebrow LEDs from the previous generation Mercedes-Benz E-Class because at the rear they made it look like a lot like the C and the S-Class as you probably know so kind of like that how they maintained its personality at the front here see the camera here this car is loaded with tech and I'll you got that beautiful Napa brown leather interior here these seats are fabulous. Just looking at the interior here um, at first sight, you could say it's equal to an S-Class. And I'm gonna tell you that it is. Take a seat behind the wheel. You instantly see this lovely glass panel covering both 12.3 inch screens. Let me close the door real quick. We have the uh, 3D surround sound Burmester speaker system, has 23 speakers in total. Over here you see the uh, four vents that were previously reserved for the S-Class, but now we also have it in the E-Class. Show you the display here because it's the hybrid, it shows you how you've been doing in eco mode, probably not too good. So the total only electric range of this car is 30 kilometers. We got the nice seat pockets again, just like in the C450, love them. So in the door here, we have a seat heating and seat air conditioning. Love the air conditioning. Uh, of course, I have it on. It's pretty hot right now, like plus 20 degrees or so. So you, you can change the, um, the display to three different styles. So you go to design. Right now it's in progressive. Let's put it in sport. And it changes everything. It's kind of like AMG styling sporty design and then we have the classic so as we know it there are a lot of other things that you can change here from day and night design to additional display areas to you can you can basically configure this whole thing right in front of you so whether you want the navigation over here or you want it in the middle or it's 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 all configurable i want to show you the ambient lighting of this car ambient light there we go color now 
This is maybe a little bit over the top, but it's pretty cool still. I just realized that this is probably the worst place to demonstrate this because it's really light and you can probably not see it, but the ambient lighting basically goes all around here and here under the mid console, just by your feet here in the door. It follows that whole wave line basically that goes across the center dash. But of course, even in the plug-in hybrid, you can probably put it in Sport Plus. You can even put it in Sport Plus, that's crazy. Lovely materials, by the way, some kind of yacht wood here. Really nice. Let's see what we have here. Oh, right, that's the car perfume. I remember that from last year. <laughs> that's interesting. What's really cool, by the way, is this speaker right here it comes out of the roof so this car has a, a more advanced sound system than the current s-class does looking at this interior i don't really see too many reasons why you should buy an s-class over this car which is way cheaper at this point anyway let's wait until the new s-class comes out but uh, i think they gave us a pretty good taste of what's coming Looks absolutely fabulous, this interior. This interior is without the doubt the benchmark in the executive saloon segment. So it's gotten even more windier, so I hope you guys can hear me. Just to inform you a little bit on the driver assistance packages on this car. As I said before, this car is loaded with tech, um, similar to the Tesla. I'll try to demonstrate that a little bit uh, when I'm on the highway. It has the... Uh, yeah, kind of a similar version to autopilot. It auto steers, you just have to touch the steering wheel every once in a while, but it really works, I tried it. It has the auto lane change, so if you keep the indicator going for more than two seconds, it'll automatically change lanes if it's possible. It has all these cameras all around the camera and sensors that see if it's possible, of course. Um, it's a very safe car. Um, it has all these safety features, it'll brake automatically. That, that all comes standard, by the way, not the autopilot part. The autonomous driving part, you'll probably have to chip in some extra money. So first impression, amazing car, very smooth ride, very direct, has plenty of power. Especially this hybrid one is very silent. The 220D that I drove the Estoril circuit is also very silent. It just it feels like any other MB car really it has so much power to give. If you really step on the gas, you don't really hear the engine. So yeah, very smooth, very comfortable. Um, right now, I'm really happy. It's beautiful out here. I'm gonna spend the rest of the, rest of the afternoon driving some amazing cars. Hopefully, the E400. If I get to drive the E400 today, I will definitely do a short video of that. Alright, so the autonomous driving feature on the new Mercedes-Benz E-Class seems to work pretty well. Just asked you from now and then to just touch the steering wheel real quick, but other than that, just like Tesla's autopilot. Just to show you a little bit more, as you can see it's driving autonomously right now, going through the curve. It works. in traffic right now I engage Sport Plus and it's such a difference it's pretty cool the engine sound is well compared to the AMGs we drove last week not amazing but it is a plug-in hybrid so now I think it looks just amazing in this matte gray color the headlights really pop out It's got the AMG styling package. So just had a quick drive. And this one has these crackles, just like the C450. Not as loud, but they're there. And I love them.
And now you can finally see the ambient lighting that I was talking about earlier. Just look at the, those lights, that styling on the interior. It's just beautiful. These are also the dynamic seats with the active side bolsters. And something that I forgot to address in the other car are these nif nifty touch handles on the wheel there. That's a novelty, first time ever on a car. And this way you can control the whole infotainment system just with your fingers. And it's, 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 it's a touch thingy. Just look at that. It's awesome. And it really works well, as well too. So yeah, anyway, I don't have the car for long. I'm probably going to be late for the press conference. Hopefully get to drive a little bit more tomorrow and on the track. I'll make sure to make a video of that as well. But for now, this will have to do. So yeah, just turn on the light real quick so you guys can actually see me. It's getting dark really quick at the moment. Just a little bit more of dynamic driving on country roads here. The LED lights are just fabulous. They light up the signs really well. You see them actually moving from behind the wheel. Really cool technology. Also, a couple of more facts about the car, as I understood from the presentation. So this car is similar to the C450 AMG, which has basically the same engine, three liter, six cylinder, the V6. That's all, that also explains the crackles on this one. I think it's around the 360 horsepower range, which is quite good and fitted with the 9G Tronic gearbox that was first introduced in the previous generation E-Class. The shifts are just seamless. Really nice, really quick if you want them in Sport Plus, really comfortable when you're driving in Eco or Comfort mode. Just all around really responsive. You can definitely, if you compare it to the other variants that I've driven today, the 220D and the 350E, it's just so much more responsive, very edgy throttle, yeah. As an editor for GT Spirit, it comes as no surprise that this is the car that I like the most out of the lineup. And I can't emphasize it enough, seeing what we have here see what's coming with the E63 AMG. It's gonna be a terrific car, I'm sure. Anyway, in terms of driving, I'm gonna end the vlog today. I hope you guys enjoyed the footage. Maybe some parts are a bit long, but um, I did try to include you guys into kind of everything I did today. So um, yeah, just leave feedback in the comment section. Really wanna know what you guys think of her video format. Thank you for watching. We're driving the SL65 AMG. This car is 630 horsepower and an incredible amount of 1000 newton meters of torque. Because of that, only the AMG 7 speed gearbox can be used, and that is paired to the 6 liter V12 engine. 0 to 100 kilometers an hour is done in just 4 seconds. Top speed is electronically limited to 250 kilometers an hour.